I guess there are a lot of cliches and stereotypes in the advertising industry, in, in the briefs that we get and um, potentially in the audiences that we have to work with, but I think it's really hard to define what those cliches and stereotypes are because they're so ingrained in our culture, so it can be hard to pinpoint them in a brief. You see it every day with different brands and when they do brief you, even if the women are the ones, the women in accounts are the ones who brief you, you will see them that they also have cliches and prejudice about how women are. In a lot of the media today, we do see a lot of stereotypes of depictions of women and girls. Yeah, I see cliches in briefs all the time, uh, more in advertising than in technology. Um, and a lot in TV, it's kind of like the traditional mom, dad, mom's in the kitchen cleaning. Um, in technology, not really, because apps are for everyone. So I don't see cliches as much as I do in uh, regular traditional advertising. I was most impressed by the campaign that Pantene had done um, in that it was really flipping stereotypes that have been used uh, negatively against women um, and uh, shining a light on, on the disparity at how women are, their power is used against them in the workplace. It's a cliche, but I have to say Dove has met a lot of improvement since their first campaign launch. And uh, they really pushed the boundaries and they really made us think also, the women, how we are portrayed in advertising and how we are being talked, how we like being talked. So it's an interested way in an, an interested step on how we should think about sell, selling things to women. Quite a few years back when I first got into the advertising industry, I was putting together an assignment for a university project. And we had to look for inspiration and ads that really inspired us. And I came across a De Beers campaign which was promoting diamond rings, but it, they promoted diamond rings in a completely different way than had ever been done before. I guess traditionally diamond rings are saved for engagement rings and that's something that a woman doesn't buy herself, that's something that's bought for her when she's proposed to. But the campaign was um, all about women of the world raise your right hand and it was about buying diamond rings for your right hand. So your left hand rocks the cradle, your right hand rules the world and it was this idea of you don't have to wait until you're engaged or married to own a diamond ring go out there and celebrate your success and spoil yourself and get yourself a diamond ring, wear it on your right hand. I would choose leadership. I think uh, we need to see a more diverse set of um, thought and experience that informs uh, how we depict who leaders are. Um, I know when I started in the industry years ago and you would look up a term like leadership and you would see men in suits, white men in suits, and I think that's just not accurate anymore. I think the aspiration is that there is a much more diverse uh, profile of who is leading um, in corporate America, in creative organizations, and I'd like to see uh, more of a diverse subset of photography uh, reflecting um, all of the diverse uh, backgrounds and uh, perspectives that exist, that truly exist. It was family and balance, which are on the same ground. We need to like, think for ourselves, talking as a woman, because we don't need to, to succeed in every field that we are supposed to succeed. I wanted to repicture innovation. I really like that word, I think, because um, there's no limit to what you can do. A good example is Google, who 10, 15 years ago was just a search engine that people kind of knew about and now they're trying to put Wi-Fi all over the world for everyone. So I think that's a really good example of innovation and how far we've come in just under 20 years. The term that I would like to see repictured um, is femininity. Traditionally, femininity is all about that kind of domestic subservient figure that we remember from 1950s advertising. Um, I think it's still something that we buy into today, unfortunately, but what I would, what I would like to see femininity defined as is a whole multifaceted range of qualities. I think that women are not one dimensional. There are so many different types of women and we should all be um, represented, whether you're a 
woman in power or you are a homemaker and you you know want to look after your family or you are a sporty person you're an outdoorsy person you're a creative person it's all of these sorts of qualities that make up a woman and so I think that those should be what's defining femininity and not just some outdated icon from the 50s.